All right, we're back for round three or round two of this event. I have a co-pilot for this round. I got Shiro with me. Here, we gotta, we gotta move the camera down so you can see Shiro better. So Shiro, should we keep this hand? I think Shiro, Shiro thinks we should. Uh, I think I agree with him. It's a little painful because we have you know mana confluence and Shivan Reef here, but uh, we do have a, a, you know multiple Air of the Wilds, multiple Shavage Knuckle Blades. This is a pretty powerful hand. We are on the draw, which makes it a bit worse. Um, you know, makes just about any hand a bit worse. But oh, okay, Shiro's getting comfortable. Uh, so we're gonna go keep. All right, F8. Evolving Wilds, okay. Well, we're gonna open with a, I'm gonna play Shivan Reef. In case I do just draw Forest, I don't wanna have Mana Confluence in play pinging me. Um, I think there's a reasonable chance my opponent is Jeskai. I've seen Evolving Wilds a Jeskai card. Another Evolving Wilds. All right, well. We're going to start damaging ourselves here. Air of the Wilds. I don't know if Shiro was going to co copilot for that long. He's getting getting antsy. Oh, no, it's blue black. Okay, interesting. Blue black with evolving wilds. Oh. I think Shiro's done. He doesn't want to doesn't want to play this anymore. He's like I'm off it. I don't want to play against Blue Black. Shiro. I may have to let Shiro out of the room. <laughs> I'm going to attack you. I'm just going to play the second Era of the Wilds. Uh, I'd love to actually draw another land so I could potentially play a Boon Sater. But I'm going to just start with this. Polluted Delta. Alright. My opponent certainly has a lot of a lot of delve action ready. All right, sure. I'll let you have it. <laughs> oh, we got biobladed. Well, that was that was lovely. I, I I walk away and all my creatures are dead. All right. Well, the the herb works actually kind of nice here because it lets us potentially tap that for for colored mana or rather for for black. If we only if we need colorless, I'm gonna put this back up here. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is typically, blue-black control is typically a very good matchup for teamer. Uh, you have a lot of pressure and, uh, you know, just solid solid creatures that can be difficult for them to deal with. Um, but right now we don't really have, you know, anything. So we're just short on ability to cast spells. <coughs> Pretty, pretty uh, definitively gonna lose this this uh, this game. I think our opponent has perilous vault and a ton of mana, and we have nothing. So I mean, we do have something. We have an air of the wilds. He's been vile blighted though. All right, well, I'm gonna lightning strike my opponent. Getcha. <laughs> well, those are some effective bioblights because I drew all of my air of the wilds. These have been some really weird games we've played so far uh, in this video. None of them have been particularly uh, interactive so far. Hopefully, hopefully we have you know a little bit more interesting games going on. Uh, and the rest of the, this uh, this match, uh, dig through time. All right. Well, we're pretty dead. If this was a playtest game, I'd concede at this point because my opponent has a pretty insurmountable advantage with you know actually just digging here. I'm surprised that that uh, just removed so much of the graveyard with so many like lands open. It seems like a waste of of resources by delving away there. Not even like sacking flooded strand and like tapping it for mana or whatever. 
or just having you know one of these for mana. Maybe my opponent just doesn't have any islands left. All right. Well, there's a there's a wooded foothill. I'm gonna say go. My plan is to end step a boon Seder. Okay, well, now I'm, I'm just going to concede. I'm not going to win this game from this point. Really not worth trying. <laughs> so sideboard-wise, I uh, want to bring in the Stubborn Denials for sure. Disdainful Stroke's actually also pretty good uh, because you can counter Dig Through Time, you can counter the... Uh, uh, like Jace's Ingenuities, you can counter Vault. Uh, all the burn spells are pretty bad. They're the weakest cards here. Um, Reclamation Sage is kind of interesting. I haven't actually didn't actually have Reclamation Sage in my sideboard when I was uh, you know, playing against this deck previously. It's powerful against against Vault. Uh, I think I may bring in one copy of it because we, you know, I think that that maybe maybe it's better than maybe Sage is better than Stroke. Hmm. I don't know. I think I think this this seems pretty decent to me. This Daneful Stroke. Eh. Maybe I'd rather have a Reclamation Sage than, than the second Disdainful Stroke. Disdainful Stroke countering Dig is a really big deal, though, so I'm just going to go ahead and submit this. Like, their deck is basically a Dig deck. If they can't Dig, their deck just doesn't do anything. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and play first. And we're going we're gonna to mulligan this. Uh, need to get a little bit more mana. And this is a, this is a fine hand. Not particularly excited about having multiple Teamer Charms, but we do have a Rattle Claw Mystic. Teamer Charms probably, you know, it's hard to want to draw one of. That's why there's two in the deck. Don't want a bunch of them. If we draw, you know, like something like a uh, a knuckle blade. If this doesn't die immediately, this could be a, a pretty good hand. Basically, we just want to be able to actually get pressure and play and protect uh, protect that with the teamer charm. <coughs> All right. I will keep them. So I'm going to go get a forest right now. The uh, I don't really want to get a mountain. Um, I could, if I do draw a uh, a phoenix and don't draw another red source, it could be unfortunate, but I do want to just thin my deck a little bit of land, because I, I need to be able to draw action here. Um, and I, I could actually just, just have gotten a, a mountain and use this, these are my green sources, but then maybe I should have, ultimately. Oh, Alright, well, I'm just going to go ahead and attack with Rattle Claw. I probably should have played um, Mana Confluence though, so I could actually team or charm. So I want to cast Boon Seder on my opponent's upkeep um, because I don't want to be able to uh, dissolve it, but don't want them to be able to also use the use a, a Bioblight to kill it. And there's a Bible to kill that. Well, I'll just cast it now then. Well, all right. Have a teamer charm. I was flooded anyway. Uh, don't have another bio blight. No, no. Yep. <laughs> the perfect draw. I stubborn denial. All right. Well, this could go poorly at this point. What's going on? What you got? Nope. 
debating casting something into my teamer charm that you know about. Yeah, I'm just going to team return that. Uh, red, green, blue. I'm holding the Stubborn Denial because it's just, it costs one mana, um, and it's a, just much more effective. Ooh, and we are potentially getting uh, getting burned by getting that forest. Can only put this face down. Yeah, it's possible that you know just. This is a matchup where my life total matters so little that that just you know taking the pain land damage from uh, the pain from you know coast and mana confluence to play green spells may just have been a better a better plan. Okay, well there's there's a red source. We do not want another land. Whoa, all right. Well, you're out of here. Yeah, I guess my opponent would have just cast that main phase if I had tapped out for that, so. All right, well, this game may be over. If my opponent has just about anything. All right, well, here's a blue Kronos. Do, do, do. Green. Palu Chronopolis. Disdainful stroke. Okay. Show me a. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's a creature at least. <coughs> Stubborn Denial is not at its best here. All right. Well, one only has one card in hand, and maybe it's not dig. And we're just drawing. You know, we're sort of having opposite problems in in our games of drawing no land or all land. Please tap out if you're digging. No. Left two. I don't even understand that. Why would you leave two mana? I guess we're playing on two stubborn denials. Perfect draw, Elvish Mystic. Yes! <laughs> All right. Do, do, do. Oh no, this is another dig. Jace's Ingenuity. I'm, I bet I'm gonna draw Disdainful Stroke next turn. After my post just cast, you know, Dig and Ingenuity back to back, I'm just gonna draw it. It's what's going to happen. Bam. Just let it get countered. Didn't want to see my last my, my card. All right, Reclamation Sage. All right, also a perfect draw at this point. I'm just gonna play it. I need, I like, need to actually just have some kind of pressure. My opponent's gonna be able to play, uh, play Vault with mana up anyway, so Reclamation Sage is not gonna be particularly attractive in my hand. Yeah, gotta dissolve, so. Sure. Uh, no, I, is it, that's not. No, we're we're gonna dig for a, a more high impact creature. Oops. Air of the Wilds, I think, is not not gonna cut it. We need something bigger to win the game. 
Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should just like leave any non-mana card on top, but Air of the Wild is just a pretty low impact creature at this point. There's a Perilous Fall. Lovely. All right, well, we got to land. <coughs> so I would rather draw an Air of the Wild, but now, now with the Perilous Fall in play, you know, it's not even... Not even clear, you know, what I, you know, that just about anything is very good. <laughs> Stubborn Denial, the perfect draw once again. Oh dear. This is like the worst video ever. Nothing's interesting is happening. No one, no, no, none of the games are like close. They're all just like, I'm mana screwed, my opponent's mana screwed, or I'm mana flooded, or whatever. These are just, these have been horrible, horrible games. I apologize. <laughs> I'm definitely going to play one more after this, just because even though normally I play, you know, the eight-player match, I'm going to go find a, go find a two-player match, I guess, because I actually, uh, you know, definitely want to get a fourth round in, because because this is just this is just horrible. These have all been just terrible games. Ah, the perfect draw. <laughs> what do I actually even draw in this game? I've drawn two Teamer Charms, a Pelucranos, a Boon Seder, Land, and yeah, just two Stubborn Denials that I have not had a four power creature play it when I've had them. This is, this is really, ooh, ooh. Shiv and Reef, the perfect card. I had like a Kervix Torch, or like a Banefire, or whatever. I'd be able to get my opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just need one more, one more land to be able to Banefire my opponent out. I should, have, I should have tried to get him to counter that again. He's at nine. Ooh. Now if I just draw Banefire, he's dead. My opponent has eight cards in hand. And he's gonna have to discard the hand size. This is this is just This is ridiculous. Ooh! Yes! Got there! Elvish Mystic! <laughs> Nullified. Wow. This is embarrassing. All right. Another dig. So my opponent has resolved three dig through times and two Jace's ingenuities. Oh yeah, we got there. We got there. I suppose I can just kind of concede at any point, but. Ooh, Frontier Bivouac. Perfect. <laughs> I really need that Demon Fire. Uh oh, are you are you are you finally casting a Pearl Lake Agent? So, oh my god, the fourth dig through time. Maybe my opponent will deck himself. 
Maybe you just took out Pearly Kitchen and can't win. There it is. Okay. I feel like I can concede now. All right. Well, that was miserable. Um, let's go play another match and see if, you know, we can have something resembling a game of magic. 